Good morning. Paisley here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be making a chocolate zucchini bread. So while you're here, hit subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. We're going to go ahead and get started. Right now we have the oven set at 350 for preheating. And we have our zucchini shredded up and ready to go. And in the microwave we have our butter. Right, for this recipe you're going to need one stick of unsalted butter. So I went ahead and put the stick in there and started melting it down. I'm going to get it down um, a little more melted. And then we will continue on. Takes about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. Let's check it here. Yeah, that looks about right. So at this point, you're going to take three-fourths cup and plus two tablespoons of packed light brown sugar. And we're going to um, put that in with our butter. I've somehow misplaced my three-fourths cup, so I'll just use the one-fourths three times. You definitely want to make sure that you're using all unsalted butter for this recipe because you're going to be adding baking soda and baking powder and salt. So if you have unsalted butter, you don't want that way it doesn't make your uh, zucchini bread salty. So there's one. I'll need three of these to make my three-fourths cups. Three. Move this out of the way. And then you're going to need the two tablespoons. I should have just added it right into the butter. I can transfer it though. Just going to put it in the butter here. Now, traditionally, I make um, just regular zucchini bread. I thought, a girl that loves chocolate will probably love this this uh, recipe. So we're trying this out together. I'm just going to stir that together, that melted butter and let sit that to the side to let it kind of cool down. Mm. And that's done there. I'm going to let it cool down. While we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and get our dry ingredients in our mixing bowl. Let me put this away. So now we're going to need the uh, one and two thirds cup flour. that right here. Reason you didn't see me getting that out. We have a huge bag of flour and uh, it's easier to keep it down here because it's heavier to lift up on the counter. So we have the one cup and then we're going to need two thirds cup. We 
23rd. Make sure that it's level. There's the two thirds. Close this up. All right, so we have that. I'm reading off the recipe card because I've never made this before. So we're going to try it, learn it, and try it together. Then you're going to need your cocoa powder and it is one third cup of cocoa powder leveled off put that in there and then the next ingredient will be your three-fourths teaspoon of salt Mm -hmm. And use this one here and close this up behind me. We use our, I need three of these because I'm using a fourth of a measuring to equal to three fourths teaspoon of salt. Then you're going to need a half teaspoon of your baking powder. So we got the baking powder here, we're going to need a half a teaspoon of your baking powder, then you're going to need a half a teaspoon of your baking soda. Oh perfect. Then, now you can put a half a teaspoon of instant uh, coffee, that's optional. I'm not going to do that, we don't even have instant coffee because I don't drink it. So at that point you're going to go ahead and make sure that your butter and sugar mixture here is cool enough, which it is, to add two eggs. this out. They need that little bit. I'm going to go ahead and you can whisk it. I'm just using a fork and just kind of scramble it in there. So now you're going to go ahead and mix your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. Pour it all together. Get all that yummy goodness in there. And then you're going to need your vanilla which is one teaspoon of vanilla. Cannot wait until my vanilla that I have fermenting almost a year now, I'll be ready November 1st, I can use for my baking because I do not like using the store-bought, but we use what we got to use around here. So, so far we've got a stick of unsalted butter Three fourths and two tablespoons packed brown sugar, two large eggs, one teaspoon vanilla, one and two thirds cup flour, 
a third cup cocoa, three fourths teaspoon salt, half teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda. Now we're going to add a cup of chocolate. But you know what? Let's save the chocolate chips. I'll just stir that in. Um, then you're going to need two cups of your zucchini. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this up. And I'm not bringing you over here yet. I will here in a minute. I broke my tripod. I don't know how. I don't remember breaking it. Somehow it broke. I don't think I even dropped it yesterday. Maybe I did. I don't know. So we're just going to go ahead and mix this up and then I'll bring you over and show you. I'm going to go ahead and scrape down the sides of the bowl to incorporate all those yummies together. That looks like it's mixed very nicely. It's almost um, like a thick brownie. Take this off. Bring it over here so you can kind of see. It's pretty thick. I'm going to go ahead and scrape some more down off the side. Get that blended in well. All right. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add the other ingredients. Uh, hand washed off here. Okay. Um, now, as I said, I got the oven preheated to 350, and then you can use any loaf pan. I'm going to use the iron uh, loaf pan today. And inside, I have the parchment paper and sprayed it down with. Um, you can, I, I like to use canola oil or butter. This has got butter in it. Um, I have that setting to the side. At this point, you're going to go ahead and add your two cups of zucchini. Good way to get the kids to eat the zucchini, everyone. They won't even know that it's in there. If they do, they'll just think it's some kind of goodie. And it is. We add that in there. We're going to add our one cup of chocolate chip. I did not have regular chocolate chips, so I am substituting for dark chocolate chips. Close that up. We're going to go ahead and get our little mixture spoon here and mix that all together. It's supposed to be really thick, so don't worry about that. Like I said, it almost looks like a brownie mix.
And that smells wonderful. I would like to have tried it with the instant coffee because instant coffee really brings out the chocolate. But since I'm using dark chocolate, because that's all I had, I think that will be enough to substitute that missing flavor that I was looking for. Alright, so now we're going to take this and we're going to pour our batter into it. Get a better grip here. There we go. Trying to make sure that I keep it from hitting all the sides or going down into my parchment paper. I'm going to continue getting this in there. And then we'll get it in the oven. All right, so there we go. Looks delicious. We're going to put this in the oven for 60 to 65 minutes. And we'll be back when it's finished. And there you have it. Final product. Doesn't that look delicious? Cannot wait to try it. That's it for today. Um, hope you will try this recipe and you enjoy it. I'm trying to get the glare out of my glasses. Sorry there. Um, I know that I'm going to try it. I'm excited to try it. I think it'll be really, really good. So hit that like, subscribe button, and the notification bell so that you get all of our future videos. And you can look back at our past videos. That's how you can support me and my channel. And I'd really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day and God bless you.